Don't look too excited, Felipe. This channel was made with the purpose of teaching my, my dear, dear friend, friend Felipe, Felipe how, to how to speak English. She doesn't teach me anything. <laughs> That's not true. What if I said you're just a bad student? <laughs> no. So are you going to be reading the title or what? Today we're going to be reacting to why Minecraft isn't fun anymore. And that's actually true. Well, I mean, technically, yeah, because we haven't played it in a hot minute. Yeah. But yeah. who's it made by? It's not fun if you don't play it. <laughs> I actually can't argue with that logic. <laughs> this video is made by Jet Starfish. Jet. Jet. Jet Starfish. Jet Starfish. Minecraft used to be simple. But it's not anymore! What did that just do? Oh, what the heck? Oh, no, no, no. What the heck is that thing? Oh, it shoots lasers! Oh, there's chess boats. It's no secret that Minecraft has added a lot of features since it was released. They've revamped entire dimensions, created new bosses, and even added fully automatic weapons. So why is it that through all of these <laughs> that last features, one sounds a bit weird. Minecraft still feels boring? You would think that with so many new items to collect and so many new mobs to explore, that Minecraft would be as interesting as There are as frogs ever. in the game? But it all just feels stale. They're white. Remember that feeling of booting up the game for the first time, opening your first world, and having no idea what you're supposed to do. But maybe that's what made Minecraft fun. Maybe having to find out how to play the game and discover features for the first time is why we liked it in the first place. And while this might be one factor, I think there's actually something more. That's true! Keep things simple! That's actually so true because I remember getting Minecraft in 2009. Bare bones. But it was just like creative mode. So all you have are like bricks and a few blocks. Go wild. Well, I have another theory. They just played that game too much. <laughs> But they're safe, but the problem is the, 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 the thing- Don't play it too much. The, well, yes, that's a nice PSA. Yes. But the thing they're complaining about is that even though they add more stuff, it's still boring. Because they <laughs> play too much. If you actually predict the outcome of this video, <laughs> oh my god. Deeper. The real reason why Minecraft isn't fun anymore is all because of chest boats. Every game has something called progression, a course of action that a player must complete to move forward. I actually didn't know that, I had to look it up. In GTA, you rob people to increase your wealth. In Pokemon, you battle trainers to get badges. And in Fortnite, Please don't make me talk about Fortnite. But in Minecraft's case, the progression is a little- I could never get into Fortnite. consisting of mining ores and crafting tools. Hey, wait. But over time, it's <laughs> this small system that I believe has started to cause major problems. The first of which being that the game it's just way too simple. You see, Minecraft's main progression currently looks like this. You upgrade through each armor set, kill the Ender Dragon, and if you want to, get an Elytra. You can also fight this guy, but he's just a side. Although this system is meant to be simple, there hasn't been anything big added to it in a long time. Besides one key thing that we'll talk about later, the last major change to progression was in 2011, with the addition of the Ender Dragon. Is that actually true? Wait, hold on, let me think. And you want it even more simple? <laughs> I need to think about this for a second. You want to- Let me think through if it. You want to enjoy Minecraft. Don't play it. They're like, just quit video games for a while, you'll like it again. I always forget the camera is over there. Minecraft is a sandbox game. So this progression theory, I don't know if I can get behind it. Because Minecraft is all about what you can do, not the amount of things you have to go through to get to the end. It's a sandbox. It's for making houses. And they are giving you more tools. So it shouldn't be boring. But you're telling me that they shouldn't give you more tools. No, you were saying maybe Minecraft. It's, 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 you, you should keep it simple. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot my own argument. <laughs> That was 12 years ago. In that time, people have been born, raised, and are probably out vaping at this exact moment. Yes, we've gotten the wither, but like I said, you don't really have to fight it. Things like Guardians and the Warden are cool, but there's no real reason to seek them out. Most features added to the game nowadays are just meant to stall the player, rather than having a meaningful purpose. So that's issue number one. But issue number two is a little bit more interesting, because it's the fact that Minecraft is getting easier. Like, a lot easier. 2011. Minecraft had just passed 1 million sales, and it started to get its first batch of fans. Dedicated wham, I should have to serve her. I really hate this kid. Notch was in dire need to add something to the game, so the first thing he thought of was beds. I could make so many jokes here, but I'm gonna have self-control. Beds were craftable with wool and would allow you to skip the night, the most dangerous stretch of the game. You could literally just avoid all the mobs and danger of the game and just skip straight to the daytime. But hey, listen, there's still mobs underground. The game is hard enough. It's not like they're letting 
letting us fly or anything. 2016. A lot of things happened in 2016, but among them was the 1.9 combat update, which was the most controversial update. Yes, I was about to say, everyone hated that. Changing the PvP system, it also added the elytra, which allowed you to fly in survival. This made traveling around extremely easy, removed the need to walk, and made exploration- I have a confession, I've never gotten an elytra, pretty like, hard to get. It's not normally. Like giving away diamonds. I always cheated okay. in. 2019. <laughs> this time they updated villagers, which literally sell you diamonds. Not only do you not have to mine for pretty much anything anymore, you also don't have to enchant because the villagers sell that too. I don't need to do anything. I could just be a- Slave owner. You can see the common trend with these updates. Mojang adds something that makes the game easier without adding anything to balance it out. This explains why Minecraft feels much shorter than it used to. Since there's so many new features to make the game easier, players can find ways to beat it faster and faster and faster. And yes, I do have a confession though. Specifically for this four second clip. But there's one update that never- I don't use any of the new features every time I play Minecraft. Longer and is also hailed as one of the greatest updates of all time. I'm of course talking about Buzzy B. The Nether update was released in 2020, and it changed the game in two huge ways. First of all, it added netherite, a completely new material better than diamond. To get it, you would have to mine in the nether for the extremely rare ore type ancient debris, and combine it with your existing diamond armor. Not only does this add an entirely new step to progression, I but- say, ooh, because I actually have never made too, netherite. You have to upgrade your old armor. Man, I haven't played it in a long time. Kind of like how I can't replace my terminal brain illness. But there's one more thing the nether update did that's even more important, and that is making fortresses much harder to find. Before the nether update, you could just kind of walk around without really having to fight anything and eventually find a fortress since they were pretty common. But yeah. after the nether update, you had to traverse through four different dangerous biomes while constantly fighting hordes of piglets just go through huge bastards with brutes that will one-shot you and on top of that, fortresses are three times as rare. Jesus. With fortresses now much harder to find, completing the game was not only more difficult, but also more time consuming, which in turn yeah. lengthens the progression Stop. of the game. So he was telling me the game was too simple, but and that, that was the problem, but now he's telling me, telling us, uh -huh. that the problem is that it's too hard. <laughs> he's saying it's too simple, but also he's saying that it's too hard. <laughs> Is it a part that's like where it's like a little bit harder? No, but he's talking about like changes in the nether, right? It doesn't matter. Just in the nether. It doesn't matter. Which is like adventure oriented. <laughs> he was writing something with with his hand and then he just <laughs> erased it with her. With his elbow? With his this. With his elbow. His elbow. Where did you get that from? What do you? Where does this come from? Erase something with an elbow. <laughs> I have never heard that. The update as a whole was a huge turn in the right direction for Minecraft. It look, turn in the right direction. He wanted it to be harder. The game in many different ways. So we're good, right? We can just sit back, relax, let Mojang do their thing, and they can keep pumping out updates just like this one. No, why the hell would you think that? The next update Mojang released was Caves and Cliffs, which went right back to making Minecraft easy. Now, don't get me wrong. This update did a lot, especially for the ambience of mountains and caves. But when it comes yeah. to progression, it had some seriously <laughs> negative effects. When Mojang was revamping caves, they made a ton of changes to how ores generate. One being that diamond veins now generated much more often. In addition to this, Mojang made caves, especially those found deeper under underground yeah. is much larger, which in turn exposes even more diamonds than the smaller caves found before 1.18. This makes diamonds a lot less rare than they used to be, allowing players to speed through progression even faster than they were before. But don't worry, because luckily Mojang noticed this issue and created an all new ore type to mitigate it in the form of copper. It has so many possibilities, it could be used to make new tools useful in the early game, or unique armor with special abilities, I mean- What if people just skip copper? Add to progression and make the game even more interesting than it was before- Lightning rods. We got lightning rods. The wild update was even worse. It didn't add anything to directly affect the player's journey, and the one thing that actually does is locked away in the most dangerous area of the game, which by the time you're able to get to, doesn't serve any use anymore. Now don't get me wrong, not every feature has to have major effects on the game. Adding things simply for the sake of ambience can do a lot to improve immersion. But if Mojang continues to shorten the length of progression and almost never add anything to it, over time, people are just going to get bored, which is the reason why many are saying Minecraft isn't fun anymore. So how do we fix it? Don't play it. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a solution. Don't play Actually, it for a while. <laughs> no, you know what I think is happening here? It's because Minecraft literally became a different game. Yeah. It's no longer just Minecraft. It's literally a different 
game in and of itself because they changed caves how caves generate mm -hmm. they changed the way the game looks mm -hmm. they've revamped pretty much every aspect of it combat they've revamped the nether they added new armor sets and things like that the only thing they haven't changed is like the end boss so i think the real complaint here is it's literally a different game i think those updates were a good idea because you know the new new generations yeah but new generation of the map people oh yeah okay new generations of people yes but 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 booty <laughs> but i agree in that part uh, he mentioned uh, what? about being too easy to play you need the the how do you say reto you need the challenge you need the challenge yep you need a challenge in a game yes one of my favorite games ever made terraria, is terraria. people terraria to be minecraft. i love terraria <laughs> starts off pretty similar to minecraft you mine some ores craft some armor but after that it slowly descends into madness but the main takeaway is that terraria utilizes level scale a developer concept where the game gets harder as you get stronger in terraria yep. after you defeat whatever the hell that thing was from earlier your world is plunged into hard mode causing yeah. stronger enemies to spawn around you and more powerful ores to generate as well looking over at minecraft there isn't really any Anything like this. The player can get stronger anytime they like, but the enemies of the overworld stay exactly the same throughout. This the is true. Either. Totally. So let's fix that. Let's say that after defeating the Ender Dragon, a few new stronger enemies are able to spawn naturally in the overworld. They don't need to be anything insane, but just enough to add a little more challenge to the late game once you're decently geared up. In addition to that, let's make it so that Netherite only starts generating after you defeat the Ender Dragon. Not only does this fix some of the difficulty scaling, because let's face it, Netherite is way too OP to have before you fight the dragon, but it also gives players a legitimate reason to then go out and find netherite since there are now going to be stronger enemies in your world if we wanted to go even further we could also make it so that the deep dark only generates after the dragon this just makes a little more sense with how hard it is to navigate and now that the game is more difficult it finally gives a use to the recovery compass since you might die a little more due to the stronger enemies i am so good at this dude. don't get me wrong this would be changing a lot so it would probably that is true he is good little by little but i think it could genuinely make an impact on the game's enjoyability and make minecraft more interesting yeah. That or I'm just really high right now. But there's one other thing that Terraria does amazingly, and that is employ split progression. Split progression is when you offer different options to the player depending on their unique playstyle. In Terraria, yep. if you like ranged weapons, they have a specific armor yes, set for you. Yes, I love summoner. Range related buffs. If you prefer using melee weapons, they have a set that'll give you more defense. And finally, if you like chess boats, you should end your life. Sorry, that slipped in. The point is, in Terraria, different players can have different experiences depending on what they like to do most. So let's apply this to Minecraft. Let's bring back that copper armor idea from earlier. We'll make it so that copper armor is weaker than iron, but each piece you wear will give you a small speed bump. This is because copper can conduct electricity, and everybody knows that electricity <laughs> equals speed. I learned that from the Sonic movie. Now, Shut instead up. of just making iron armor without a second we'll <laughs> Where'd you get startled at that? Having more defense Shut up. And having slightly faster see. movement speed. We could also up this to enchantment, similar to how you can't have mending and infinity on the same bow. When enchanting your sword, he's you good. Choose yeah, he is. More damage with sharpness, or I like his logic. Down with quick strike. Choices like this make the game much more interactive and allow players to express their own specific playstyle, similarly to how your mother expresses her playstyle in bed. Now again, all of this would be changing a lot, and many of you are probably going to disagree with some of these suggestions. But with some of these suggestions, no, I agree. What we can all agree on is that Minecraft is different for every person that plays it. What may make the game yes. more interesting for one person makes it way too complicated for another. And at yes, the end of the day, it's I think that's actually what makes it a great game. To make the game fun. Yes, we can have cool new armor sets or enchantments or a lightning rod if you really want to but at its core minecraft is what you make it to be yep. what you want it to be i absolutely agree it's special the only question is what will you choose oh my. which is why i wanted to talk about the penis update when i tell you this video was annoying i don't want to know about that update <laughs> I don't I'm really care. Don't. I actually think he was spot on I just think that minecraft is an utterly different game overall stop copying me <laughs> I think though Minecraft's success stems from the fact that it did sandbox so well and it seems so simple. So like it reminds me of Legos, for example, or like you just get your little building blocks and you just put them together however you want. And someone could be really happy with just like a dingy little dirt house. Yes. yes. While someone else is really happy making like a huge mansion. Yeah. I definitely agree with that guy yeah. in this thing of challenging people. 
Yeah. Because they need challenge. That thing about the Ender Dragon, about the materials, yeah. the speed. Yeah. That would be great. I think people need it. Does that mean you're going to play Minecraft again? I want to play Minecraft again. You're going to play Minecraft again, but not in creative mode. I want to play Minecraft again. <laughs> <laughs> I want to defeat the Ender Dragon. You're gonna defeat the Ender Dragon? Uh-huh. <laughs>